So the last video game movie I saw was Assassin's Creed. It was not so good. This one, it's all right. So let's talk about it. So Tomb Raider 2018 is a reboot of the Tomb Raider film franchise, and this time it's based off the 2013 game, which is a reboot of the video game franchise. Hope you can follow that. All human life. To give you a little bit of context, I never played the older video games. I only very recently watched the Angelina Jolie films, but I did play the 2013 reboot of the video game and I enjoyed it quite a bit and I had fun with this movie. But before I go into my full thoughts, tell me down below in the comment section, what did you think about Tomb Raider? And give me the context. Did you play the old video games? Did you play the new video games? Did you love the Angelina Jolie films? Did you hate the Angelina Jolie films? Let's have a nice fun discussion about the Tomb Raider franchise as a whole and this movie in particular. With that said, let's get started talking about the good. For me, the best thing about this movie was the frantic, visceral action. From beginning to end, this thing is jam-packed with action sequences and chases. Whether she's riding a bike through a city, running through the woods, fighting guys in the mud, you feel the environments that she's in. Whether that's leaves kind of running across her body and then she slams into a rock, feel it when someone hits her, all of it just has an impact as it happens. That's actually what I loved about the video game is that it was very immersive and you winced when you hit things. And that's what this movie did. It brought you into these environments as it was happening so you could actually feel the action happen. It's a job that trains, that's trying to deal with her past and that gets sucked into this big, massive adventure on an island. All along the way, she's fun and playful in the way that she kind of portrays the character and not in a quippy Marvel type way, but in a human way, the way we talk to one another, that gave it a nice grounding that probably makes some of the action hit harder because the character feels like a person. The movie moves at a nice swift pace. It doesn't feel overly long. It doesn't overstay its welcome or dwell on any one plot point too long. And at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's just rushing through plot points either. It gives us just enough plot for the length of movie we have. It finds a way to incorporate the more fantastical elements of the Tomb Raider mythology with the grounded tone that they're going for. And it also has a lot more heart and emotion to it in the characters' backstories and relationships to each other than I was expecting going into the film. Lastly, it has some nice world building going on where it hints at some bigger things going on while telling a self-contained story. With that said, let's move on to the mixed aspects of the film. The big one that comes to mind is the tone. The movie starts off in the first act pretty playful in the way the characters interact with each other, especially Lara Croft. Kind of has a nice rapport with everyone that she chats with, but as the movie goes along, it gets more and more serious, and as she gets more isolated on her adventure, the humor goes totally out the window and it's replaced with violence and a little bit of cruelty. And that makes for a pretty big tonal shift as the movie goes along. I think it would have done the movie a lot of good if they'd found a way to take some of that playfulness of the first act and sprinkle it throughout the rest of the movie. Another mixed aspect of the film was the story itself. Now, I didn't have any big issues with the, the story. It provided a, the appropriate number of action sequences, chases, setups for emotional emotional moments, all of that fun stuff, and there's also adequate stakes. It just wasn't particularly memorable at the same time. Like, it had twists and turns as to how it plays out, and so I enjoyed all of that, but it's not like it did much beyond give me all of the checklist of things that you want from a plot. You want action sequences, you want a twist, a reversal, you get all that fun stuff, you don't get anything beyond that. Also, the second half of the movie has a number of plot twists and reveals, and I appreciated that they were trying to put some more intriguing elements in there and make it a little bit unexpected, but some of the reveals and twists weren't really set up in the movie, so it just felt a little bit like too much too late uh, without the appropriate setup. With that said, let's move on to the bad. The big one that comes to mind is the main villain. Now, I love Walton Goggins. He's great. But this character, there's just not much of anything written there. We get a little bit of backstory into his motivation for what he's doing, and then he's just kind of generic, merciless bad guy that does cruel, evil things. There's not much characterization. There's not much nuance. He's just generic, stock bad guy. To me, he felt like 
a character that was written to be the henchman bad guy, and we're supposed to have the more nuanced, interesting, deeper main bad guy, but then they wrote that character out of the film or just put them off in the background, so we're left with a fairly flat, cardboard cutout character as our main bad guy, and that doesn't work particularly well. Also, this movie is very derivative of Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. I counted at least six different specific, unique plot points or images that are straight out of Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Now, if you're gonna rip someone off, that's a good movie to rip off. And so it made for some fun, but it pulled me out of the movie. I was like, wait, this is straight out of Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. And then two scenes later, there'd be another thing. I was like, this is straight out of Indiana Jones in The Last Crusade. But still, overall, I had a good time with this movie and it gave me enough of what I wanted from a Tomb Raider movie. I'd give this one a B minus. There's lots of great action in it, a great cast, but some weak villains and an odd shift in the tone at times. And on an entertainment level, I would give this one a seven out of 10. This isn't a movie I'm gonna rush out to rewatch a bunch of time and recommend to my friends, but it's also the sort of movie that I can see myself from time to time being like, hey, I wanna watch that Tomb Raider movie. Or if I spotted it on cable or something like that, I'd probably keep watching it. And I know I'm going to definitely recommend it to my wife because she will probably enjoy this movie. How about you? What did you think about it? Tell me down below in the comment section. And as I mentioned before, tell me, have you played the previous video games? What did you think about the previous movies? Kind of give me that context of where you're coming from so we can have a nice fun discussion about Tomb Raider. Also, in a few days, I'm going to rank all three of the Tomb Raider movies, so stay tuned so you can check that out in just a couple of days. And if you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, but the key thing is I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you. So join me down in the comment section. I really do read as many of the comments as I can and respond to as many as I can. And as always, thank you for watching.